follow my socials. Hi, beautiful people, November 11th, Azure Lane. War with Kawaii Girls and Anthropoformism. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, Eevee is evolving. Two light spoilers. Really helps the New obvious Eevee. What? Pretty designs, but exploitive, as you might expect. But what the hell is anthropoformism? It's the idea of an object becoming a human being, which recently has been called a form of misogyny because those human beings tend to be women. Which is stupid in so many levels because the problem is how you treat people not them coming from objects. If tomorrow you have a race of lizard women, the problem is not that they come from eggs, the problem is how you handle them. But coming back to the anime itself, yes, it's pretty misogynistic. In my opinion, the problem is not having a harem or having somebody who is very sexual. The problem is handling them as just that. Saber J has a harem and he doesn't end up with any of them. Another point to be made is that this is a game anime. Azure Lane is a game wherein you can collect girls that are personifications of ships, and then you can use them in a war. And I can't speak about the anime as an adaptation because I never played the game. But I, like many critics, think that if you had to have played the game, this is not a good adaptation. Part of the adaptation's job is to expand the universe, but another part is to bring more people to the franchise. Going back to the design for a second, some of the ship parts and the girls look good, some just look okay, and others are utterly ridiculous. And this becomes a problem when you have little girls and you make jokes about them not being able to handle the equipment. If your idea is that these girls are some kind of human or cyborg or whatever you want to call it, you can't have them have these problems. So for me, while it might be ridiculous to have absolute territory in the floating skirt, or a ship who has such massive tits they don't fit in her clothes, the biggest problem for me is when you show them as incompetent. You could talk about the fact that they are QB, or the you debating, or the fact that they are sisters, but all of this could be interpreted and you could find an excuse to do this in their particular genres, but them being incompetent is just bad. Those ships sitting still and doing nothing are a bigger problem to their personalities than the sister's hand on the other's boob. But let the rocks roll. Look. I don't really have a problem with this concept. We're going to just throw these people in and enjoy them fighting a war. Or we're going to just throw these people in and enjoy their bodies. To me, that's more of a fantasy. But there was a giant war that created the sirens, but you're not going to see it. There's a ton of sirens, but you're going to pay attention to the ones that we say are the main ones. Uh, why? If you're putting them like just another one, why would I have to choose the ones you chose? And it's worth noticing that two characters actually get enough focus that you could like them or not like them, but the others don't. There's a real problem with using tropes just because they are tropes. This girl is covering her head, but she's revealed to have things on her head. There's at least two characters with stuff on their head. Probably more. So yeah, when you're selling the lolly that really cares about her animal or the lolly that just wants to sleep, I have a real problem with that because lollies, but there's nothing sexual there, so you could say that the people who like them just like how charmingly childish they are. But when you do a whole subplot about a spy who's going to be friends with the enemy, but she's not developed at all, it looks like it's just a cardboard with an arrow saying insert spy here. Again, I don't have a problem with the fan service of the floating skirt or the hand on the boob, because these characters were at least a little developed. They are presented as people, even if very shallow people. The little girl falling back because of the weight or the woman who just has giant tits? No. And didn't we already do this like 30 times? To me it feels like Kankole is not 5 years old. But maybe I'm just too old. But that's it! What did you think of this anime? Leave it on the comments and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! And if you enjoyed it, please like, share with your friends, subscribe, and don't forget the bell!